Hello and welcome to another Lava Falls AZ podcast. I'm here with all the uh, squad. I almost said bros, but there's a lovely lady here with us today. So you know, yeah, she's definitely a bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know, trying to be respectful and all. So, anyways, uh, Bobby, yo, Emma. Oh, oh damn. Oh, she, she muted, muted herself again. <laughs> Shit. All right, uh, Sam. Hello. Darren. Hi, I complained about cars. <laughs> <laughs> and Andreas. What's up? And we'll introduce Emma when she comes back. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right. Um... Ah, uh, like a typical woman, she leaves right when you need her. <laughs> wow! Bro, oh, come on! <laughs> Shut up, everybody. Oh, my God. Yeah. Jesus Christ. If that's not an indication of how this podcast is going to go, oh, buddy, <laughs> let me tell you. Oh, my God. Oh, Darren, by the way, Mackie D's car just crashed into wall. Funny. Mackie D's. <laughs> Mackie D's, more like a It's funny scenario. because there's like literally a Wendy's race car in the race as well. So it's like Mackie D's versus his Wendy's. Now all we just need is the Burger King car and it'll be complete. Yeah. I wish there's a KFC one though. Definitely need a Burger King. Yeah, I don't want to die. Whopper, 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 I can't take that commercial seriously. Which is so stupid it sounds. Especially when it gets to the bar, especially when it gets to like the end of the song where it's at BK Have it your way. You it's a fucking, fucking Whopper Whopper commercial. Whopper <laughs> Whopper I wanna go to Whopper House. I never heard of that. I mean especially if you even on, like, Instagram, I have to see that harder, better, faster, stronger remix of that song. And it's like, seriously? Is this, is this what we've come to? Who, where we now have, like, a fucking techno club remix of the Burger King act. Honestly, well, yeah, bro, we have to get fucking Americans Sorry, the guy somehow. My manager, and I am the on-site manager. <laughs> oh, you're on-site. That means you pull out the Glock and shoot the motherfuckers that are... Touching no, right. Jamal, don't bring up the nine. <laughs> <laughs> Which is funny because it's funny because like I remember at one point, right, like back in the day, hey, the big main joke was basically he the BK a hey, song the da 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 I work at Burger King making flame bird whoppers. I wear paper hats. Would you like an apple pie with that? Would you like an apple pie with that? Seriously, I sang that song on the bus and my bus driver just looked at me, my sister, and a friend of mine with just like a smile because it's like, oh, this is hilarious. Yo, tell me why this motherfucker sounds like Nogla. I don't know why, but he sounds like Nogla. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Who's Nogla? <laughs> Oh, Di- oh, Dicey. Dicey the Nogla. I remember Who's that, that guy. It's like a, was like YouTuber. YouTuber. He plays, he plays, um, uh, with Smitty, uh, Grizzy. Danosh. The dude, um, Blarg. He, he's another big YouTuber. He's an Irish dude. So I guess all Irish dudes sound the same. Yeah. Racism. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. Sam's not even Irish, and our Irish man's not even here today with us. Yeah, but I to myself. Tell me I sound like I'm from New York slash Jersey because of like, like I have like I don't know. I think I might have spoken like a like, slight accent, but it's like, like I can tell like from the way you sound. Like I think, what are you from? Like New Jersey, New York, which is funny because I was actually born in New York, Newburgh, just like a little bit off of the uh, West Point, like, military base. But I don't remember oh, it God, very well. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, funny, isn't it? Also, fun fact, I'm actively standing on a uh, table to try and see if I can fix the fucking Wi-Fi router. 
Is it a swirly chair? Table, Emma, I didn't know you worked at a strip club. Whoa. Okay. This is not a clean joke. It's not funny. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. It's a podcast. Everything's funny if you make it funny. Everything's <laughs> a meme. Yep. Yeah, look at my relationships. You're laughing. Like, you my... I mean, I don't want to laugh at that because you know. Look at my. Oh, no. Look, no, I'm look no, at no, my. By all means, please laugh at it. <laughs> I really don't because it's just we're we're usually like on the same boat on certain things. It's just like I really don't find it funny no more. Oh. <laughs> You know what I don't find mind. funny? What? What? I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Every everything is funny in life, including my non-existent love life. Yeah, that's why Ooh. I draw two D women. <laughs> mm. I wish I could draw. It's okay. I can, I can draw for you. I can draw by half. Okay. I can draw by half art block. Fuck. Artist block. Yeah. Oh my god, I can't even is, laugh at my I'm so bad at velocity. As you know, my dreams were scattered years ago. How many years ago? How old are you now? Hmm? Sam, like, I don't do it to me. My dreams were shattered years ago. Sam. How many years ago? What? Wait, since existence. <laughs> oh, wait, I get this joke now. Sam. It took him a while. Oh, never mind, I figured it out. <laughs> Damn it. Like, Devlin, what? I don't, like, that game is so weird, Velocity X. I know. For some reason, I'm like, okay, I'm playing a Hot Wheels game, but how come these cars feel slow? It's because it's a battle game. It's, it's meant to be. I know, because that's the first ever Hot Wheels game I ever rented from Black Blockbuster. Blackbuster. You thought that? You thought the normal version of Velocity X was weird? Look at the Game Boy Advance version. It's like fucking <laughs> NFT the <laughs> game. <laughs> uh, no, for real. Just... I've actually watched a walkthrough of Velocity X on the Game Boy. It's like a freaking F NFT version you know, of the game. It's like, like freaking what's his name? Gearhead was the original NFT. <laughs> what the fuck? Really? Seriously, just look up on YouTube, Velocity X long play on the Game Boy. It is so radically different from the console versions. I'm on fire. I'm, I'm gonna die. And I'm, and I'm here, You're on not even. Fire. And I'm here, I didn't even experience fucking Velocity X because I was too young for that shit. Fuck. Man, when I got Velocity X, I don't remember how old I was, but. Like. Oh, Played I, it. Go, I made it. Cool. Um, when, know, when, that, game, that game was like a false advertisement, like cover-wise. What? When Velocity X was out, I haven't even existed yet. Fuck. <laughs> Wait, what? What? What was a? What was the was false it? advertisement? I mean, like you know, Hot Wheels. You know, having that nice kind of front. You see, like a loopy loop in the background and a lot. Is like, oh, I'm expecting like a, a high intense race. No. It was so disappointing. Good thing I rented it. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you weren't expecting it to be a, a, a battle car game. No, it just, like, the, the, the front cover doesn't look like The only thing you do is just a drag race, which is just, like, one point yeah. to here. Yeah, the only reason you were doing it was like, oh, my God, this is going to be a good game. It's the next objective. <clears throat> but for the most part, you're just in dueling arenas. Yeah. I don't think it's a bad game. It's it's not one of my favorite Hot Wheels games but i mean like it's not bad yeah but it's like it's just the cover and the name is kind of like it's like a false advertisement it's like it just doesn't describe like what the game is yeah like stunt like stunt track challenge oh that's that's like right on what the game is going to be yeah or like stunt track driver for the pc like even though it's just like a linear or track level it does what it sets out to do like you take control of a car and you race it down on a Hot Wheels track while avoiding being obstacles and doing airborne stunts when you do the jump. And then right yeah. at the end, you either, like, go into a sand and box, or you just crash into the fucking TV while the dog and the cat flip the fuck out. <laughs> and then it's like you wonder, why, why is the TV broken? 
fucking, uh, like, yeah, explain that to your parents back in the well, day. You know, you know what? Devlin, it, it, why is there a giant gaping hole in the TV? <laughs> uh, oh, would you believe it? No, no, <laughs> more, no more, like he, more like he'd say, oh no, I just decided to throw my car to the TV. <laughs> then the TV just suddenly explodes later on after a few <laughs> seconds. <laughs> I don't know, man. That that hole was just there when I got home. <laughs> you know what's funny? But I've actually been curious about the old Hot Wheels PS1 games, like Hot Wheels Turbo Racing, or the. Uh, it was like this one other game where it's like, like so you take control of a car, but uh, like the track is made up of like different segments. So like you got an off-road segment, you got a flight segment, and then you got like a water segment where. You go through this one portal, and then it's like the car just morphs into, into like a jet or a boat. It was like it was released around two thousand one. I can't remember the name, but I know it just involves that. Oh, yeah, I haven't heard of that one. Me neither. Well, I rented it, so I can't really remember the name of it, but it does involve that. Once the podcast is over, I'll send a link. Okay. Send it now, pussy. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> send it. <laughs> Just send all right, it. all right, fine, you impatient. Lick the, My lick the brother in Christ, it, bro. there is full send or no send. There is no in between. <laughs> <laughs> is that why you keep fucking my friends, Bobby? Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 dream racing. Bab, he about to get roasted or cooked every time. <laughs> Did somebody say chicken salad? <laughs> what? I love chicken Hang salad. On. I'll be back. <laughs> oh, God, Emma, nice. it's not my fault your friends go around like a goddamn spit roast, alright? <laughs> not my fault. <laughs> Oh, uh, but actually, wait, I just have a question, though. Who ate all the pecan sandies? No, really, who ate all the pecan sandies? The if you get that those? joke, you're a legend. Your mother. <laughs> it, it's like a Bro. keyboard cookie that apparently Roger loves. Roger the alien from American Dad just loves his pecan sandies. I have oh, never, well, I, I get barely it. watched that. I have barely watched that in my life. Fucking crush. Am I going the right way? I am so bad at velocity. Dance. Oh Jesus Christ! What the hell is this? Why is Carl Weezer's head on a freaking what? What the hell is this? <clears throat> All right, hey, we need, we need some he... like. We need some, like, trivia or some shit. This podcast is getting boring real fast. <laughs> it's getting mean? boring I, because I haven't been talking, I, motherfucker. Jesus Christ, I'm start sorry. Talking, yeah. Bobby. Start talking, Bobby. <laughs> yeah, talk, damn it. Okay, yeah. Yeah. send the link. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it, Actually, so if you want to watch the link, there it is. I sent it. Oh, you sent him? Yeah, I sent it. It's in the I chat. How oh, oh, are you racing? Yeah, that's the, the intro. How wheels extreme racing, where we go the car mode fully, except for the fact that when your car crashes. You, you die. I told you. <laughs> basically, so yeah. Basically, if, the, if Hot Wheels took on, like, this Mad Max kind of, kind of approach to racing, where it's like, you have a big giant missile launcher on the front, and you can just... It's like that. Well, yeah, bro, they had to Very take like something Mad from Americans. <laughs> I fucking died, dude. I fucking died. <laughs> I'm so bad at Velocity X. I mean, aren't we all? No, you're just bro. bad at the game. Bro, I never played that shit in my life. <laughs> I was too lazy to really complete it. By completed, I mean, like, unlocking all the shit. Like, the, uh, gear. The, like, you have to go into a level. Like, I could not figure that shit out for my life. That's fair. 
<clears throat> yeah, it's a pretty pretty tough game. I remember trying to unlock every car, and it took forever. Well, I bet. Meh, but it's okay. Enjoy the process, I guess. Wait a just minute. Just like that. I just saw something familiar on a billboard. My dick? No, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there it is. Holy shit. <laughs> He can't he can't look at it and say that's familiar. He's not playing it first. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh my god. No, that was a good I was I was about to like say it, but then I was like, okay, yeah, screw it. I was I'm just gonna say it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking perfect timing right there. Alright, give, give us the floor, uh, Bobby. Alright, least favorite race. <laughs> what? From, Wait, race from, from what? From, from, from any motorsport or actual human? <laughs> Fuck. I <laughs> don't <laughs> like high elves. They piss me off. <laughs> Wait, from Elder Skyrim? Scrolls. Oh. Yeah. Now, you want to know my least favorite race? The Daytona Me? 500. Marathons. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Marathons are pretty dumb. I know. Dude, like, they were fucking... They were named after a dude that died from running fucking, like, 26 miles. Actually? Yeah, no, that's like... I hate triathlons... I mean, seriously, if you're gonna have me go from fucking riding a bicycle to then having to run, it's like, what the fuck? Like, first you're having me fucking swim in dirty-ass ocean water, where I'll possibly be either eaten alive by a damn shark or stung by a damn jellyfish, to then having me riding on a fucking bike, like, thinking it's Yawamushi pedal or some shit, and then in the final... <laughs> I know, bit of the race, you want me to run my ass off like Sonic the Hedgehog. Or, or if you want to think about it another way, you're just basically riding the, a bike like this fucking protagonist from Golden Boy or something. Oh, God. Or, oh, you're not riding a bike in Hell. You know, no, Dan, no. I was just waiting for you to mention that. No, but, I mean, yeah, with me just you. Study, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. I quite literally <laughs> had to p give my full attention to them to tell them, no, I can't do anything. <clears throat> Did you tell them it. that they need to, like, get out of the store and fuck off? <laughs> I can't say afford to quit or get fired at this point, so no, I did not tell them to fuck off. Uh, honestly, okay. if there were, honestly, if there were a row session between Bobby and Emma, I probably would. I probably would join and just like eat popcorn and just watch the show go crazy. Oh no, here's the thing. I will lose every fucking time. Well, nah. yeah, I mean, it's not that hard, bro. You're a fucking bottom. Of course you're gonna lose every time. <laughs> oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> no! <laughs> I mean, at least I don't have to talk to my friends' friends to get a date or a fuck. Hmm. <laughs> well, you see, when you're just good at the game, you just succeed. And you don't need to try. And I'm like, you, I don't have that skill issue. Get better, bro. And you want to talk about fucking <laughs> other people's friends to get a good fuck to... It was or one time. Time. <laughs> Yeah, motherfucker, you didn't play that times. game. You've done it, like, two to three times. With my friends. It was once, my dude. What the fuck are you talking about? You keep trying to fuck my friends. This podcast is crazy. <laughs> oh, yeah, especially with Bobby's here. Crazy. My brother in Christ, did I not say it was going to be demon time if I joined on this podcast? <laughs> oh, is, is that what you said? Everyone was like, wait, what? I have 50 seconds to get the bomb to the location. Get, it. get the bomb, damn it. And the cash. Don't forget the cash. Wait, you have to... Oh, no, my friend, you have to get the bomb. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Well, you see, in Germany, we cannot use the bombs anymore because the Blitzkrieg kind of failed. Um, 
and we can do that anymore. I really don't want to play Velocity X right now. This this is like. Oh, so just don't play it. Why are you still playing it? Because I want. I just wanted to do that mission and just get off the game. I don't want to play Velocity X. I suggest. I suggest you should watch World Race just for Kadim. Kadim is gone. Oh, the great danger lies ahead of him. Oh wait, he became a fucking drone. <laughs> We're playing underground too. Fuck it. Blast, it blast, uh, blast riders on last riders on the storm. I can't. Yeah, no, nah, you know what? You know what's the best? We well, you know the song. You don't have to sing it. <laughs> you know what's the best NFS music in like my opinion? Fucking get low. That that shit is so good. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> honestly, if this were honestly if Get Low were released in like 2022, I probably could imagine like the entire fucking backlash that that song will get. Cause I think these days they're trying to play it safe. I, I, back I'm, then, I'm, it was... I'm tired of all the stupid pussy shit nowadays. It's like, it's it's just dumb. It's like stop being yeah. fucking butthurt about literally fucking everything. Yeah, Dude. I'm just tired of stupid pussy. I mean, what? <laughs> What? <laughs> gotcha. Jesus Christ, I'm talking about fats, not an actual pussy. Get your mind out of the gutter. Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, what, do you, what about pussy cat? Yeah, that sounds better. It doesn't, actually. Oh, okay. uh, man. If the word pussy is in it, it's not gonna sound appropriate at all but that's kind of the fucking point but to be fair it never was appropriate to begin with <laughs> who knows I mean, why, why who do knew? people call like why do people call cats like pussycat like just you know for the hell of him like like is there like i mean no please be called female dogs bitch so i don't know <laughs> like what <laughs> silence. Fucking silence. Just right there. Yeah, I'm like, well, what? <laughs> Someone's gonna say the fucking thing again. Oh, you sweet summer child. <laughs> oh. Andres, Andres, you What's sweet up? summer child. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, I am. I'm the sweet summer child. My brother in Christ, you didn't even know what the fuck the prone bone was. You need. You are the sweet summer child. <laughs> Well, I don't know every every fucking word out there. It's just like, why How should I not know? The fact that there's so many that everybody has to teach you that makes you the sweet summer child. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Yes, that's, that's true. It's Leave cool my boy that. alone. <laughs> no, well, I'll what? Make fun of him. What? <laughs> what? Don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking okay with a slight hesitation. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, my friend. Okay, dokie. Alright, we need something to talk Hi. about. We need a subject. Oh, oh, there's that penny I lost. Why'd you lose the penny? <laughs> Sorry, I'm cleaning. Um, I dropped a penny earlier this morning, and I'm like, I'll find it later, and I'll put it back in the tills. I found it. Did you drop it on purpose? <laughs> I hope you no, did. No. <laughs> well, no, she did drop it on. Hey, no, she did drop it on purpose. She's not like you with soap. <laughs> it's the that penny. Is, I don't use soap. soap. That someone is just gonna like ask her to like hey, uh, ask someone to like hey, pick it up, and well, you know what's gonna happen next, probably, more or less. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Honestly, I'm glad I found this because I would have gotten in trouble for the two not being even. What? Was that even fucking English? What the fuck? <laughs> Till. Uh, and it was English. You're just fucking stupid. No, it's oh. called your phone cut out like a motherfucker, so you sound. <laughs> like a robot. <laughs> oh, Christ. Got that synthesizer going. <laughs> <clears throat> so, um, last night was interesting. Shit. 
How so? Uh, yeah. yeah. Define define interesting Denny's, by your old standard. Denny's. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Denny's. <laughs> oh my god. I sure did not get home until 1.30 in the morning. So I didn't get home until... I didn't get home until probably about 3.30 because I was sitting there with what? Logan for like another hour. Because he was sleep He was sleeping, right? He just fell asleep? <laughs> no, no, he drove home. I oh, he did? Like, but he fucking drove? Yeah, he, no, did. he was I driving thought, him. I thought Bobby was driving. That's what I thought, too! <laughs> <laughs> you know it's bad when you're supposed to have Bobby drive and he doesn't end up doing it. I, actually, hold on, hold on. Like, during the time we were about to go home, like, first intersection, we turned left. I don't know if you saw that fucking, that, that, um, that Camaro just blew a red light. Like, I don't know if you guys realized oh, that. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> that right fucking scared that me. Camaro. I'm like, oh my gosh, you, you asshat. Like, it scared the shit Wait, out of me. Wait, question. How long did it take for you guys to pay and leave? No yeah. fucking clue, because uh, I didn't know that shit. Short. It was about another, like, <laughs> ten minutes, and oh then... Oh my god. Yeah. Good god. See, you know we were- you know for a fact we were in the ghetto when our waitress was like, I gotta go pick up my kid. <laughs> you know? And then never came back. And never came well, no, back. Well, no, no, well, no, I seen that shit, and I was like, yep, yeah, typical- typical Mexican things. I get it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm the one here that can speak Spanish. Oh wait, no, not Latin American Spanish. Fuck. I mean, you can you can you can tell once you have tattoos like on your neck and your face. I'm like, okay, <laughs> okay, uh, just just okay, say yeah, just, just say okay, puta. I <laughs> said <laughs> <laughs> and immediately I said, oh, absentee baby daddy, got it. <laughs> it's too slow. Uh, Oh my god. What is that? Jesus oh. Christ, bro, stop That's beating Emma. me. That's Emma. <laughs> what are you doing? Run away, she's got a nail gun. <laughs> it doesn't like a nail gun. Good no, uh, I've actually been told I have to clean, so I. Uh... Oh, frustration. <laughs> that no. sounds really hot. <laughs> what? I hate all of you. <laughs> What? <laughs> Nothing. I was trying to get the last of the cleaning solution into the mop bucket. That's hot. Oh. That's, that's what that sound was. <laughs> Jesus I was Christ. y'all would comment on it. The amount of sexist jokes I can make <laughs> is unfathomable. Just do it, Bobby. Go but ahead. I, I want to hear. Hey, you know yeah. what? Hey, you're being told to clean, so you're doing what you were rightfully put on this earth to do. Oh. <laughs> Oh, Jesus okay. Christ, woman! We should have never stayed away from 1950s. <laughs> oh Jesus! This sh but this shit ain't the 1950s. It's fucking 2023. And I will say though, I'm actually being paid to do this. So, I mean, that's a good thing, yeah. But I mean, you know, hilariously, if I wasn't working, working, I would probably be cleaning my own house right now. So, that's see, it's in your hard. DNA. <laughs> No, it's in the fact that I have been out way too much and I have not given myself time to clean. Sounds you like know, I school. have a friend moving into my house. I need to get shit clean. Damn. You're really working hard. <laughs> you hear it? <laughs> oh, no, I was moving the mop bucket on the sales floor. Yeah, bro, I heard that fucking water splash. That sounds like a goddamn slip and slide. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna say. <laughs> sounds like a water park. Uh, I wish I could. I wish I could go to the water park again. Fuck. Is there a water park where you're at? Well, in once, well, in my country, yeah, they do. It's just like I don't know where it is right now, but right in Spain, there is. Except it's like fucking ten hours, ten hour drive away. Fuck. We are the Jesus most. Fuck. We are the most diverse podcast to exist. We have Andreas, that's Colombian. We have Bobby, that's Bobby. You're Italian. Bobby, right? I'm Mexican and Italian. Now. Okay. Uh, you have me, that's a bunch of stuff. You have Darren, who's Indonesian. You have Sam, that's from Florida. <laughs> You have yeah. you have headless who's from Northern Ireland, 
Uh, you have Blade from the UK. <laughs> fuck, fuck all this. There's not enough diversity. <laughs> <laughs> it is not. That would just be the black one. I mean, what? Oh, that's Eric. He's from Canada, too. No. Di oh, diversity. that's amazing! Diversity, but if most of the people here are like fucking white and I'm the only Asian here. <laughs> I mean, it. Colombians can be black. Uh, yeah, I mean, come on, that's a fair that's point. That's true. Anyway. Yeah, I did not know that. I'm like, damn, I didn't know that. I didn't know they can be black. Indonesians can be black. As Indonesians can be black as well, to be honest. They have. Damn, bro. Hey, bro. Hey, you said that in Black History Month? That's got to be racist, bro. <laughs> Oh no, I'm gonna get myself canceled. How <laughs> fucking poor I, of me. If we're all not canceled by the end of this, I'm gonna be disappointed in us. <laughs> no, we can't be canceled. We're too based. Yeah. Besides, the people that cancel aren't even, like, that much in power. Big. They're just pussies. They're probably too insecure, like, what they want to say about themselves or something. If I could do whatever I want, I'd eat steaks and fuck hot, hot women all day and go into wars. But unfortunately, we don't That's live in those American. times. That's the American, right? <laughs> for, for, for me, I wish I would have was it fucking delivered tofus every day. I, no, well, actually like 1 to fucking 5 a.m. in the morning. Take it easy there, speed boy. <laughs> <laughs> or is it space boy? It's space boy. Isn't it? I, ask, I, ask, I ask space boy. Or I don't know. Yeah, nah, it's space, space boy. Funny joke. Haha. Uh -huh. Initial D reference. A funny joke about Initial D. Let's fucking go. I want to blow my engine again. Cry <laughs> <laughs> yes. about it. Yes. And and that will be like, hey, it ain't your fault, son. Although, I was the one over revving it. <laughs> oh, this, is that what happened? I kind of forgot. Uh, yeah, it did happen. He was just Literally. running the car too hot. The car got way too hot and exploded. At least I, I know, thought. dude. That was that was that is that was bleh, that was the fuck. I can't say the word. Devastating. Devastating. That happened. This is like I I kind of had a feeling because like the way it was going, I'm like, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> like just I'm like, please no, don't blow up. Because it was it, like it was his first time losing his life. So I'm like, oh. But then you know what? I'm gonna do it again. It's, it's break. Final Racer Project D ends up fucking blowing another engine again. Mm. Beautiful. Wait, he did? Oh shit. Because <laughs> I watched Final I, Stage. I don't remember. I, yeah, he did, he did, he did, he did. Literally, literally like did a blind attack. Fucking 13k RPM. And he's like, the sudden realization like, oh shit. shit. Fucking. He didn't spin. realize he over revved it until it was too late. Spins 180 degrees, fucking wins in reverse. What a fucking Chad. Although that could be plot armor or something, I don't fucking know. Cause I don't know, there's some moments in Initial D that's like major plot bullshit. Yeah, cause like... I mean, look at his race against fucking Dr. Dr. Oh. Joshima. Motherfucker or... damages his entire suspension, still wins, only because his Doc Hawk S2000 needed to take a vomit stop. Or the mm. fucking, or the fucking, was it a a eighty six versus S fifteen? S was it the S fifteen car? That 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 shit was fucking bull. Cause, <sighs> Christ, <laughs> he's just fucking wait, 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 which one, Darren? Was it like uh, the S fifteen yeah. Varietta or the S fifteen? S fifteen, the purple one. Yeah, the Varietta. Yeah, that one. Ah, uh, yes, against uh, that bullshit. Uh, super something awesome attack, late breaking style. No, no, this wait, is no, like no, that, this. No, that, that, no. Wait, isn't the late breaking one like the fucking gray S15? Oh, I'd be better the one with the fucking arrow. Kit. It was that gray purple one where Takumi basically drove Itsuki's 85. No, I wasn't talking about that one. I was talking about in the fifth stage where you just battle with the spiral team, the spiral <laughs> S15. Uh, so, yeah, Sylvia S15. Then, you know, he just fucking sped off to the distance as if it's like nothing. Although, I have to give it some props. I love, I won't fall apart. Oh, uh, yes, that one. That one wasn't really much, much of a battle, to be honest. Yeah, it's like it's so bull. Even though I love the music, it's just, it's just so bull. <laughs> If I'm being honest, like, most, like, 
almost a lot of like the races of initial DR bull, but then they're entertaining, so I probably should just shut my brain off and just enjoy the spectacle. Yeah, I mean, my only problem with initial D is like, all the other characters are treated as jokes. Like, Takumi's friends are just jokes. And then Takumi's exactly. just like, oh, I'm just gonna go win another race. And it's like, bro, we can have so much of a cool in-depth story. But instead we just get, no, you don't have girlfriend because you don't have girlfriend and that's it. And it's like, wow. <laughs> you don't have girlfriend because you don't have girlfriend. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's, that's literally the writing. That's literally how it goes. I mean, I mean this is literally Extra Stage 2.0 in a nutshell. Hell, racers don't need girlfriends! And they even made a joke about that at the ending, where, where they basically give the epilogue of what occurred between you know, Ikatani and Mako, and then it all just ends with, ends with Itsuki, Kenji, and Ikatani just like ripping through the damn screen, giving their famous, Racers don't need girlfriends! <clears throat> yeah, basically. Uh, and I'm here, Neil. I'm like, except it's really silently. what it is to be a speed star. No wonder the acronym is ASS. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <clears throat> Fuck, you made me realize that shit. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no wonder they're actually, like, fucking terrible compared to talk with me. Because Akino. they're. Yes. <laughs> Basically, oh jeez, now that I realize it. Uh, it's two with the PS2 the Akagi Red Suns are one, they're literally one letter away from ours. Because Akagi Red Suns, they'll just add an E at the end and you get ours. But then we do not know what to put for the E, so uh, you know what, <clears throat> meh, there's nothing to put in there, so. Uh, at least I, at least I'm happy that I got the tofu card, like, fucking one sixty four scale. Chicken tendies. Yeah. I love chicken tendies. Say that, I forgot to eat today, and now I'm hungry. Oh, I should eat. forget to eat. I had to get up early to get to work. And Can I live eat? an hour away from my work. Oh, God. Why? Because I'm an idiot. Are you doing this to yourself? Well, yeah, because you're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I also yeah, make huh. more money at a further location than one. Yeah, yeah. I, I wouldn't do that much to myself to just for more money. Come and kill bugs. I'm just here, uh, was it looking at my laptop doing nothing? That's about it. I literally am fucking unemployed. <laughs> I'm in constant need of basically getting money, but now I can't. I quite literally cannot quit until after we go on our Vegas trip. Vegas? Oh fuck! I want to go to oh, Vegas. Oh. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. No, you're completely right on that one. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I'm if I'm making minimum fifteen hundred every paycheck, I have to wait until after Vegas to get a new job. Yeah. I want to go to Vegas. Oh wait, no, I'm fucking broke as shit. <laughs> Literally going to America is like the most expensive thing I've ever fucking was it. I probably would ever do, but I would probably never do. I mean, I would. It's just maybe not now. Expensive. Yeah, basically, uh, visa. <laughs> just like I've heard some stories that a visa would take long. I don't know. I I heard some. I heard some girls said that it was like it will take like what two months. <laughs> Jesus Christ. For a fucking tourist visa. Gee. Even if I'm. Even though my mom. Wait, you have to have a tourist visa? No, I have I to apply. I, I have to apply for like I don't know some visa. Uh, well, mostly a tourist, because like you know I'm just only visiting a place, and that's about it. Or well, if I were to visit America, of course, but I would. It's just maybe I haven't found a chance yet. We'll see about it later on. I hope. Yeah, well, maybe soon you will. <laughs> if I if I get a job, that is, <laughs> I need to get paid. I <laughs> I mean, I, I do want to go to Japan. I've been to Japan. We all but... want to go to Japan. Yeah. I've been there. I've been there once. Yeah. I mean, that's that's oh. one of my goals that I want to do. Oh, Japan is actually really fun, though, like, like, was it going to the Shibuya Crossing, going to Tokyo, but, I have, but the worst part of it is that I did not go to the circuits and I wasn't a fucking weeb. 
unfortunate. I didn't know Ooh. jack shit about initial D at one point. Although I only know fucking running in the nineties because of like the memes. And it's so overplayed to the point that I just didn't never listen to it ever again. I wanna go to a shrine and find a fucking god. <laughs> What? Well, not not, not, not I know. <laughs> not just that. I I do I do want to I do want to come across uh, Joey the anime man. <laughs> Cuz like I've been watching him for a long ass time and he kind of like I don't know, he's just like inspired me like watching anime, I'm going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't know, he's very entertaining. I just I just love his like his, his comedy. I want to go to Fuji Speedway in Japan or Oh, that's too, yeah. Too. That's it. I want to go to Matagi. Matagi's my favorite. But Twin Rin Motegi, right? If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twin Rin Motegi. For me, for me, I want to go to Suzuka and Fuji. Mm. F F1 and was it World Endurance Championship? Also, uh, I would want to go there. What's the? Uh, is it six? Super G Super GT. Uh, or no, it's something different. It's, it's very round. It looks like a paperclip. It's like T oh, S U K U I or something. To Scooby. Sukuba. Oh, oh, it's, uh, oh. Sukuba. Sukuba, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sukuba, yeah, that one. I, I, yeah, that one as well, but I think more likely I'll probably go to Tokyo. I don't want to visit, like, the Tokyo Highway. To, oh, God, that shit's beautiful. Oh, I want to go to Tokyo Alley. And just blast that fucking maximum tune music when I'm at mm, it. Yes. If I were to get the chance to, like, drive. Because, honestly, it... <laughs> From all the bullshit that, uh, was it from all the bullshit that music has, like, fucking, was it sent o over the years? I'd say trance music is actually, like, my number one favorite, because I listen, because I listen to this one artist who makes, like, maximum tune music, and I just listen to that shit to death. Although I'm, I'm, a, I'm personally an EDM guy myself, so it kind of makes sense why. I mean, I love the music. Every time when I go to the arcade machine, I'm like, oh, this is so nice. Wait. Arcade music. Oh uh, wait no I can't wait wait in your in the place where you live there is yeah right there is multi oh. tune four oh maximum two. oh shit I already have six RR you guys are all behind holy fuck yeah man like seriously like I checked online to see what other like arcade if there's any which is Golfland and mm -hmm. that's all they have they at least have four of them because um I think I don't know what place I went before it, they only had two but they had four, and they have the uh, the terminal. So I'm like, sweet. So like the whole set, they what, have right what, there. What, what terminal is it for? Uh, maximum two four. Yes. The, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. And that's that's four. where that's where I purchased my uh my card, my memory card for the. Ah, uh, 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 passport is it or no way? Yeah, oh, no, right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, right, yeah that that that's where I purchased it from. I see. But I see. ironically, I don't know how much exactly I purchased because I had to. Uh, I had to use it. Uh, use a um, a card they have credits in, but the thing is, I think I I think I put like ten dollars in it, and it told me to swipe twice. So I swiped twice. He gave me the card. I'm like, was that exactly ten dollars that I paid for the passport? <laughs> Bruh. No, somebody's calling out to my job, and I don't want to do my job. Uh -oh. Tell him, tell him that there's no phones. All right, boys, I got some shit that I gotta go do, so I'm gonna end up dipping out. Ah, oh, oh. okay. Bye -bye. I know. Okay. I might pop in later if I if you guys are still on though. Okay. I'll at least we'll do that. Hang on. I will be right back. Okay. Can you guys hear me? Okay. Right. Or is oh, far away? No, it's You're okay. Good. You're, you're, you're all good. You can hear me. <clears throat> okay. I'm just now? playing the F1 2020. F1 2022. Do I, do I still sound far away? Or do I sound fine? You're fine. Yeah, you're, still, you're fine. I'm it's fine. Right. Yeah. F1 2022, huh? Yeah, and it. I'm yeah. in uh, Spain. I'm doing the Spain uh, Grand Prix right now. That's where I live right now. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, I am in the Circuit de Catalunya. It's 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 uh it's an okay circuit. It's not that great. It's, it's just... okay. Like the circuit is average. Like it's not easy. It's not hard. It's just like eh, like Formula One wise. But I I don't know. I do ha like okay. The, one of the circuits from Formula One I do fucking hate, video game wise, is what? the uh, the Monaco circuit. Like, um, uh, Monaco. I hate Monaco that track street course. So much. Um, I uh, hate Monaco. that track. Like, ugh, I hate it so much. It's like, so far as like, you know what? I'll just I'll just have the e, uh, I'll just have the an, uh, a computer race for me. 
I don't care if I I've, if I finish. You just not like the very uh, narrow roads. Like you just yes. don't like the very tight, twisty. Yes, that track. I like, I just hate it with the passion. I, remember, I just hate that track. I, much. I remember it's funny how like I love Monaco because of like the fucking tunnel of it. But then like now I, now the moment I just like I I just drove it and like I said of course I'm like holy fuck. It is yeah. super. It is super tight. Like even the narrow. I ha even a hairpin. I have to like go into the sidewalk so I wouldn't fucking ba bash myself to the barrier. Cause like you know F1 cars these days are like hell they're, they're they're a bitch to turn. Like especially on the on a yeah. hairpin like that. But like when I when I see the the, the computers turn, they usually have like their their uh, left wheel touching the um the yeah, sidewalk. Exactly. Yeah. Oh Jesus Christ! No, I'm, like, one, I'm, like, yeah. I'm trying to find. I was like, how do I enter the freaking turn? Like how? So like I just I just had to like do like a replay and look at the uh, the other um, NPCs like how or, they into that turn, or if you're or if you're playing online like me back in like 2018 and 2020, you just basically when you're going to the hairpin turn, pause, do it again, done, easy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Literally the best trick ever. If you're gonna do a oh Jesus Christ! Oh, literally the, the best. Trick. Literally, literally the best trick ever. If you're like, was it playing a code master's game? You just suddenly like, oh yeah, I do not know how to solve the hairpin. Okay, I just do that. Other than Monaco, which track do you not like? I uh, wonder. I hate Brands Hatch. It's ah, not there Brand. though. Ah, yeah, Brands. It's funny story. When I I actually went to like a uh, sort of car sh car show. There was like a. There was like mostly like a lot of like famous car was well, it more like exotic cars like Lamborghini and everything so yeah they have like this simulator of like was it people competing to basically have the best time so you could get like some fucking prize money or whatever my friend I mean like I hate trying to flex this but it feels like as if it's like a proud achievement for me in a way so more like my friends they were like slow on brands hatch like one did a two minute four and one did a one minute 59 and I was like eight seconds faster than like one of my friends so basically i did like a one, one minute 51 nice like it was like the car was so oversteer i mean like it obviously it's a simulation like as if it's gonna simulate something out of real life so like the car was so oversteer so my friends can't really manage to like turn it really well so i had to like counter steer it really aggressively to the point that like i was like damn it fucking go straight you bitch to the car. um yeah. emma you're making a lot of noise <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to not. It's fine. <laughs> I, I, I know. I'm, just, I'm almost I'm just, I'm done, you shit. so it's fine. I know, I'm just giving you shit because, you know, just listening was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, Sorry, uh, I'm doing what I was told by my boss. Okay, okay, okay. I, I get it, I get it. No need to worry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But okay, I want to add something about about Brands Hatch. Like I fucking hate the first turn. That yeah, just, no matter what car you are, man. Like it just for some reason I end up uh, I end up like un uh, under steering. I'm like, oh, yeah. you have to go. You have to go in like a medium or like no, not not really, not really medium. More like medium low for that one. From what I yeah, can tell. Yeah, I just I keep forgetting. It was like okay, like I keep forgetting every time when I go to that turn, like maybe like third, like second or third, like flap. I'm like. I understood so hard. I'm like, oh no, I forgot. I thought it was fucking was. I thought it was like a fucking corner you could go flat on, but then hell no, it isn't. Yeah, certain cars can go flat out on that, but like regular cars, not really, because mm. the body roll is like is ridiculous when the, on that downhill turn. Speaking of circuits, I've ever been to Circuit de Barcelona, Catalonia once mm -hmm. when I was with my mom on a trip to Barcelona. It was. I was on a superbike event, and I was like, holy fuck, this sounds insane. Like, it literally almost made my ears, like, deaf. But it was Damn. good, though. I mean, God. shit. I have a bike, <laughs> so, yeah. But it was really loud, though, for, like, superbikes like that. I can't, really, oh, yeah. I can't really comprehend, but it was fucking good. Like, an amazing first experience, basically. So, I, I didn't regret any of it. Although, the long walk back to the station is so, is it? It's so... It's tiring, I'd say, but it was worth it. At least mm -hmm. I have to experience leg day. <laughs> um, did uh, Devlin? Did you did you uh, did you touch in, uh, of the um, of like what's going on to our American circuits on the podcast? By any chance? I don't know. I don't know if you did. No. Oh wait. Oh wait. Let me let me go to the toilet first. My bad. 
Oh, okay. Um, that they're um, they're um, they're taking down some of the circuits around the uh, United States. Oh yeah. yeah so I'm not. Oh, okay, I was gonna say, I'm like, did 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 uh, did you guys touch on touch on a topic? I don't, I don't think so. No. Okay. Well, anyway, yeah, they're just doing that because of people like people who live around the circuits. Like, they should know it's a circuit, so they're gonna be uh, like allow allowed cars over there, like race prep cars. They're gonna be loud. But no, they just complain to the um to the area they live in. Like, oh uh, yeah, take it down, please. I'm like, uh, how about no and move away from circuit uh, circuits. Like is is that like you really want like the people to take down the circuits and like like bracing people like me and you Devlin like we're gonna be all pissed off about that? It's like why? Yeah, you know what? It's discouraging too because and you, you know what's yeah. gonna lead to? It's gonna lead to more street racing. Exactly. That's that's the point. Like even he, even here in Arizona, they're gonna take down the uh, the Warhols Pass circuit and the the drift track. I mean circuit the uh, dr- uh, drift strip. At least the circuit They've been talking about there. that for a few years, though. Um, oh, it's, yeah, it's annoying, but that's it's what's frustrating because in Arizona we already have a lot of street racing. It's gonna get a lot worse. It's gonna get a lot. Yeah, more if they take dangerous. it down, yeah. Um, it's also because it's part of the Indian Reservation, so we don't. Nobody really had a choice. No petitions were gonna change it. It was going to happen. It was just a matter of when. Yeah, but like I don't know, I'm just pissed that they just they just like um, move, move out of there. If you don't like the noise, then it was it wasn't making as much money as other things could. If only it was the that track simple, wasn't making as much money as the hotel was. So that's why they're tearing it down because they can't make as much money off of it. Oh, it uh, most of it all comes down to money. <laughs> Oh, at I least in really where Arizona's much. concerned. I thought it was a residence around the track. Mm-mm. There's okay. not many people around the track, sweetheart. Well, it, it's out kind of in the middle of nowhere. I do see some residents, but it's like, I don't know. Yeah, it's they true. Are, like, they are like, kind of far away, but it's like, everywhere, I mean, like, I don't know if, if the noise will travel that far. I mean, when they put a vehicle that makes the same sound as a jet, they'll hear that. But just the basic scat packs and Corvettes, they're not going to hear that. Oh, okay. See, I think, like, uh, it's stupid to get rid of, like, certain tracks. places and tracks because it's, like, it's going to lead to more illegal stuff. It's it's what happened with skateboarding. Literally, like, uh, I was listening to Tony Hawk on Joe, on Joe Rogan's podcast. He's like... Yeah, but dude, like, when we opened up skate parks, like, it, it helped a lot of kids go to the skate parks and encouraged, like, kids to go out and have fun and stuff, and then, like, they want to shut down all these parks and all this shit, and, like... Because? Because people just don't like skateboarding. People, Damn. There's a lot of people that are against skateboarding for some dumb reason. What? Skateboarding? Why? Skateboarding's not even... It's, it's just active, it, it, damn it! Because skateboarding has always been seen as, like... A very like Bad. destructive like it, it it's stupid it's so fucking dumb bro people are so sensitive about shit like what the fuck yeah, skate- 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 skaters, do shit? skaters have some of the worst fucking like people against them same with like bmx people like skating mm. and bmx are two of the most like hated like just outside activities that like people just hate on for no reason but Probably, probably stereotypically because like, of them becoming yeah, a douche or something. There's, there's a lot of, like, videos on YouTube of, like, people, like, attacking people riding skateboards and shit for, like, no fucking mm-hmm. reason. Bro, yeah, I, I, I thought motorcyclists get the, uh, um, get, Oh, yeah, um, same with motorcycles, like, too. Bikers definitely get a lot of hate, but then again, so do the car community, because a lot of people think we are gangs. Like, not even kidding. Not People really, think no. that the car community is a gang. A lot of times. Hang on. Car, I'll be right car, back. Car community okay. is a gang, actually? Oh, yeah, right. Fuck. Acceleration. Yeah. Type shit. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized. I just realized. Oh, my God. I literally, Teku and Metal Maniacs are, like, on the war with each other. Yeah, yeah, I mean, they're street. They're street gangs, anyway. I mean, I I mean, I mean, grew up watching those two fucking fight. <laughs> so, Maniacs there's no, like, that's no connection to that. I mean, like, 
I, I know like how motorcyclists get like a bad rap, but it's just like the the um, the people like driving there is like that's the reason why they get aggressive because like they get really pissed off at how people drive around them. It's like they can't hold the urge because it's just, just stuff happened around them. I, it's just, I they got see, they got to let I it out. See like, the problem with motorcyclists anyway. Like I don't. Like, I don't too. It's just. It's just the reason why most cyclists are like that is because those assholes on the street, like, if they can't drive, get off the fucking road. Yeah. Like, like I, I respect... You're an Uber, I'm very, damn it. I'm very respectful when I drive. Like, I've never had any problems with any motorcyclists, so I don't know why... Everybody's yeah, I respect them, too. Like, if they... Like, if they're a- around me, like, I give them space. Like, I do. Yeah. Mm. Like, if they want to pass me, I'll let them pass. Like, I slow down. Like, whoever. Even if it's, even if it's like a Harley um, rider. I'll slow down. Like, I'm one of those people. All the time, you have to leave the space. <laughs> yeah, basically, yeah. Like, <laughs> basically. It's, it's scary, man. Like, I ride too. Like, it is scary when a car was is about to hit you. Like, I do have a couple of close calls at that time. Like, they didn't see me, and like, I'm right there, and they want to turn on um, to my lane, but I'm like, you know, on the like a quarter panel on their car. They didn't see me, and I honk at them, and they saw me. I'm like, use your fucking mirror, at least, damn it. Yeah, and, and it was. In, I think it was a, a a new Mercedes. Like I think I, I think that Mercedes should have like at least like a a warning to tell you like oh someone's right there when you go turn. Mm, more or less, unless if you have like good spatial awareness, and it should be good. I mean, some cases I'd say, but oh well. Yeah, uh, I, I know. Like, like I still ride no matter what. Like I know it's dangerous, but I just do it because you know it's fun. It's good on gas. It's, well, that's the reason why I got it, because it's good on gas. And to, like, to put more mileage on that over my uh, my show car at that time. But now I really don't have to worry about it because I, I finally got a second car. Mm. So, and my yeah, second car I, is a damn rocket. <laughs> me, I just I just got, like, my mom's sort of, like, I don't know, rented car from what I can see. But, I like, it's kind of fun to drive because, like, at the same time, like, the first time you f- you really like had the feeling of like driving is it's just I don't know it feels so surreal but then like I don't know once once you like was it once you uh basically how do I say it you get the hang of it start it probably starts to feel fun I want to start delivering like shit for like my family later on if I were to drive again back in like my country yeah I used to I used to do lift like I did enjoy it but at the same time it's like you know tiring as shit I, but I mean. No, 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 it's not that. It's just, like, people just, like, not disrespect my car. Like, they slam my door. They make a mess in the back. That, usually, I stay away from places where I I pick up, you know, pick up drunk people. I stay away from that. I'm like, nope. I don't want them to, like, yeah, fuck up my car or, or puke in it. Well, what's your car? What is it? It's, you didn't see it? Like, it's my, uh, my Miku Tasha. Ah, uh, but, like, what, what is it? Like, what model? Like, Oh, it's a, um, it's a Civic, uh... Ah, uh, Honda Civic. Civic. Yeah. Ah, Honda Civic. I mean, like in Indonesia, I I drove like a Honda HRV. I know it's just like a city car, or whatever, like a normal. Yeah, it is. City we, car. we have it here too. Ah, uh, yeah, more or less. But like, I mean, to be fair, it's like a quite fun one. It's just, it's not manual, in which I probably would get it because, like, in Indonesia, we have like shitty traffic. Like, it's so bad. Like, I've ever. I've ever went to school, but then it took me like I don't know how many one or two hours just to get there because you know traffic is like really shit. And you know the moment when I started like dra- just driving through like traffic in Indonesia, oh god, my legs were like so dead. <laughs> and I have to I like mean, be like, careful. I don't, like, I don't have everywhere. problems with that. I don't have problems with like the clutch because the clutch is very light. I mean, mm. like, like be- okay, on my second car, it is. An- I have another manual car. My second one mm. is a Mazda Speed Three. The clutch is heavy than my Mazda, uh, and uh, like yes, I do get tired. My clutch, my clutch feet gets very tired, but it's just like at least like I don't like I don't live in that type of area, and plus I my work is not that far, so like mm-hmm. I have fun and yeah, I I really have more fun on the Mazda <laughs> than my Civic. But at the same time, it's like there is some fun I have on my Civic, you know, because it's a Natasha. Like people, you know, look at it like you know, oh look at that. Oh. Like, you know, it's like, hey, what's up, you know? I like your car. It's like, yeah, thank you. And, well, wow. I, do get, I do get that with my Mazda, though, sometimes. Uh, I see, I see. For me, like, right now, I, I just, like, 
was it, I'm right now I'm just driving the uh, was it, I'm just driving the uh, Honda HRV if like if I were to get back to was it to Indonesia because mm. like I don't know I, I don't feel comfortable like riding big cars because at the same time like big me cars. neither I don't like I don't like driving big cars I really don't if you, if you know a Toyota Innova like the first time I tried to drive it, it was like oh shit I feel like I'm gonna crash into something because like at the same time it feels so big and like I can't afford room for error like big cars ain't, ain't, ain't a good thing for me i'd rather prefer to blow and sleek but except i can't afford that shit because mm, money <laughs> I, ah. well, it, it's similar here like innova like i don't know if i did but i'm not sure but here toyota toyota, uh, toyota has like two big vehicles which is called the tundra and the sequoia the tundra is the truck the sequoia is the is the, is the suv they're both the same it's just one has a bed and one is like an suv and yeah, they're a bitch to drive because my mom used to own a Sequoia, and I remember the time she told me to drive it home so I can go home because she wants to spend night at my sister's house. And I'm like, I don't want to drive it. I really don't. Like, I do not feel safe on that damn thing. I really like. Just hey, oh, a big... My family was like, "Hey, why don't you try to like learn how to drive the Toyota?" Was it? I'm like, no, fuck, I'm not gonna do that. But then, like, I've ever drove like a Honda Mobilio. It was like really low, but like, it was actually. Like, really easy to like sort of follow but it's just like i'm bad at parking anyway so yeah there's like so many cars that i just don't know like the honda you just said i'm like uh what <laughs> honda, honda what Mo mobilio right yeah it's, mobilio, it's uh, yeah i'm like uh it, never heard I think, that before it's uh was it? i think it's like a car but like uh hold on it, it is a car but it's like uh no it's is like it the same the same class as the civic I think it's like a mini MPV, multi-purpose vehicle. I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. It's like something like this. I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you the picture. Yeah, uh, sure. And the uh, okay. I'm maybe you've never heard about it because like it's like mostly exclusive to like Asia, the Asian domestic market, or more or less. Oh. Huh. Yeah. It was sold exclusively to like Japan, but then like it also was it. It also is sold in Indonesia as well. Yeah, because but, like most. Like, most cars I've never heard before is usually, like, Grand Turismo. Like, because, mm. like, on the, used, on, the used, on the used car lot in that game, like, it's like, oh, I never heard this car before. It's unique and looks yeah. nice. So, so basically, the, was it basically the second generation Honda Mobilio was made in Japan, made for Japan. And, you know, there's, like, a lot of them in Indonesia. You're going to see a lot of Honda Mobilios in there from where I live. So, oh. yeah. Oh, maybe, like, uh, even my house. Maybe, <laughs> maybe they're gonna import it here because I've been seeing a lot of imported like cars from Japan usually. Could, could be possible though. But yeah. Like how, how old? How old are they? Like, are they still making them? Yeah, they're still. It's it's still being produced right now. Uh, every oh. okay, the second but the second generation mostly because it's been made since twenty fourteen or sixteen. I'm not so sure. Oh yeah. well, uh, it's usually like the nineties that they bring you know over here. Like the uh, cars from the nineties. Basically, well, I, don't know, I don't know if that that new. I don't know. Like this, this too new to bring it over here, or if they come and let it. Basically, the uh, the second generation right now, it's still being produced. The twenty, it's ever since twenty fourteen. Oh, Jesus, it's like oh nine, okay. Cars that car's nine years old already. Holy fuck! <laughs> I didn't yeah. even realize. I didn't even realize how old that car was because like my aunt has never bought that car since I'm not sure when twenty sixteen. Or 2015, I'm not so sure. But I was like, holy shit, it's... Yeah, really my... Old. My Mazda's an 07. No, oh, okay, that's older than expected. And, and that, is that is the, is the, is the first year that the Mazda B3 came out. If I'm being honest, I would literally would love to actually own, like, a Porsche in Indonesia, and that's about it. Just, like, oh. a 992 GT3? God. Uh oh, I'd want that so much. I do, I do miss driving new Porsches. They just, I don't know, the new car smell. Those things are so nice. I'm like, oh, it smells my, so expensive, but it smells so nice. When my was it? When my friend and I were like, we actually got into the uh, was it? We actually got into the, the was a car convention, like a show. It was a car, sh a car show at one point in a mall. He, uh -huh. I've ever tried to get into like a was it? I've ever tried to get into a BMW i8. It was so low. I've never like, cause oh, like usually I've 
Because, like, usually I've, like, you know, when it's, like, my car, it's just, like, yeah, I could just get easily get in and yeah, get out. But then if it's, a, like, a like a really, like, like, a cool sports car, like the BMW yeah. i8, holy fuck, it's actually, like, low. Like, I have to duck my head and, like, try to sit. And I'm like, holy shit, is that how low this thing is? It's funny, though, because, uh, speaking of that, like, have you heard of uh, CarWow, the channel from YouTube? CarWow? I oh, think wow. I've heard about it, but I've never watched the videos. But it's just the um, um, the the host like he he was showing like like okay, this is how you enter a BMW uh, i8. First, you grab a helmet, you put it on, and you just hop in, and then you actually bumped his head. <laughs> <laughs> like, see, it's that easy. <laughs> it was just hilarious. Bro, bro, actually like went into the fucking was it i8, but then he still bumps his head even with a helmet. Yes, a because helmet. he like well he he went into the i8 like you know like regular how you get into a car like you know kind of like you know a good uh speed to get in but he still hit his head like on the door and on the um the windshield frame mm, i see i see holy shit <laughs> yeah it was hilarious he was just making fun of the of the cars like yep you still hit your head no matter what <laughs> <laughs> but then like yeah. i would love to get i would love to drive like one sports car i mean like i don't want to crash it obviously because you know they're like pieces of art but still like it's just yeah they, they are like that's I don't know. It's just like I know there's like places around the United States you can, but it's like it's expensive, like certain cars if you want to like mm. just drive around the track. Mm. But it's like, yeah, it's just because it's expensive, and it's because I think you have to sign waivers. Like, hey, you know, be careful with the car. If that something happens, you're gonna have to pay for the damages because it's on you. And I hate pay- and I hate paying for fucking insurance or something. Jesus Christ. I mean, yes, yeah, so you're gonna have to do that, and it's like. Yeah, this is the reason. This is this is the reason why you have to be very careful. I mean, like, don't be overconfident on the car. It doesn't mean like if you drove in the game, it doesn't mean you drove it in like in real life. Is you know you're good. It's like you're gonna be careful with it. Like, I mean, like get the feel over it. And then if you're a bit confident, try like try to um, try to see if you can you know go over your comfort zone. And I'm obviously never gonna like. Ma- I'm just gonna never like make that comparison. Like, oh hey, this is like a simulator. I could just drive it. Oh wait, no fuck, I fucking ruined it in the first try. Yeah, but um, I'm just saying, like, just like don't go over that. Just like try to at least get a little bit, like get a good taste of the of the car that's supposed to be driven, like around the track. Mm. Especially if it's all wheel drive, like you know, just you know, it's all wheel drive. You won't lose control. Like if it's real wheel, like mid engine rear wheel. Yeah, you gotta be careful. <laughs> just, just, oh yeah, just mid engine. Oh yeah, mid engine rear wheel. Yeah, because all that mid-edge weight is rear wheel drive. Yeah, yeah. mid engine rear wheel drive. Uh, yeah, it's like a lot of like oversteer type shit. I mean, that's sort of like my driving style. Whenever I'm in game or whatever, like yeah, oversteer sort of helps me to like just like turn the car. Like I want like a really smooth front end, so I can just like turn the car like very fast or something. Yeah, like then again, like. Like, Gran Turismo just teaches me a bunch of stuff. Like, I love Gran Turismo, like, how it is. Because I learned a lot from that from that game. Like, just, with, with, I think without that game, I would n- never learn how cars work and how they react. And even, uh, like, the drivetrains. Like, like, what does it do? How does the car behave on that certain drivetrain? Uh, probably be able to say what I said, of course. Uh, but, like, I said, of course, sometimes yeah. could be unrealistic, so. I mean... Oh yeah, that too, and then it's impossible, like kind of impossible to to play that game with the controller because it's just like it's, it's just, I, it feels weird. I use mouse and steering. I don't have a problem with it. It's just the fucking throttle uh-huh. control. It's just horrible. Oh, that too. Like I'm like I did like I did had it like on for the Xbox because it was free on the Game Pass, and it's like uh-huh. ugh, I don't like this the way this game feels. It's yeah, especially the way that, I, especially the way that you I have to like. Controller. The way that you have to like drive with like the fucking was it the way that you have to drive with like the analog stick it, it bothers me a lot. Oh. Like when I tried playing I said of course on like a controller, any controller, doesn't matter if it's Xbox or or what is it? PlayStation. It just kinda of bothers the hell out of me. I mean like steering wheels are controllers are really expensive. These days, yeah. Like the yeah, like, PS2 ones are cheaper. I mean, like I got one for my Xbox. It was like a hundred dollars. I don't know if if you, if you know what a hundred dollars like you know relates to your currency. Hundred dollar basically like a fucking million and a half. Oh, okay. Uh, um. Yeah. So yeah, that is that is cheap, 
compared to a a steel wheel controller. So I um, I'm like, you know, what? might as well just just try it. And it was it was a Ferrari like, you know, addition. Like it was a Ferrari steering wheel. So you know, I got it. and It's like, oh, it looks nice. Like the steering wheel kind of small. I'm like, there's no way a, Fer a Ferrari steering wheel is this small. So I'm like, yeah, whatever. So put it on. I need to find a table to put it on, so I did, and um, I tried it. And this is the reason why it was cheap. It has it has no uh, no force feedback. Actually, yeah. Fuck. Wow. It had no try. force feedback, so I was like, I mean, like it had a force feedback to go like you know standard, but it has like no mm. force feedback like you know vibration from the game. Uh, actually, it has no vibration at all. <laughs> what the fuck, actually? Yeah. So okay. that's why it was just it was cheap. I see, I see. I mean, I probably would do that if I have no other option, but still, I probably wouldn't want to but do it now. I don't know. It, it felt weird because I'm so used to like the arcade machine. Like they have force feedback, and I don't think they have I, force vibration, but like it's mostly have force feedback. Yeah, mostly like force feedback. Cause like at the same time, like was it they they just want the steering wheel to like you know turn like just like you know to just yeah. be stayed in the position like as it is, but then like you know sometimes like it's try to like force yeah. it. Yeah, like it has a force to go like straight, but it just doesn't have the uh, the force feedback. So it's just like I'm like uh, I don't like it. I I sold it, but it it, it was hard for me to sell it because people were like, "What's wrong with this? Is it broken?" And I'm like, "No, I just I just don't like it." <laughs> like I don't know. To me, selling stuff is is very hard. Mm. So um, yeah, it's like I just I never got a, a good luck selling stuff. You know, the <laughs> you know what's the funniest thing about like you know arcade machines? The fact that like in Indo Indonesia, there's like sweaty people who play at maximum tune six RR to the point oh. where they just slam the steer wheel until it fucking breaks. I'm like, hot jokes on yeah. you! You gotta pay for that shit. I laugh. Yeah, at them. and then and then uh, when kids play on it and they 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 mess with the steering wheel, like they slam it in gear. I'm like, don't do that, please. I used that, damn it. <laughs> I use, I I I use manual in that game. Like, this is, I'm like, don't fuck up the manual thing. <laughs> uh literally, like, literally, I <laughs> ma manual. I do that, but like at the same time, like I'm a little bit rough with the gears. That's the problem. But now, nah, I mean, like, not that kind of rough. It's like it's yeah. okay. It's not that bad. I mean, like, ever since, ever since my. All of my vehicles are manual. Like I cannot drive manual on a on a game no more. Well, if, if it's like an arcade, like Need for Speed, I'll, I'll leave it on automatic because I don't. It's like it just I don't. It just feels weird. Say with me, but I will. <laughs> yeah, like if it's like a if it's like a simulator, like F one and uh, Grand Turismo Seven, I drive with manual. Or even like was it a set of course? Yeah, definitely manual for me. A set of course. Yeah, I do, but it's still like steering is okay. kind of wonky. It is, the, controller, the controller steering is completely fucking ass, if you ask me. Oh, especially, especially on that first car, the um, the Abarth. Oh my gosh, I'm like, this does not feel from my car. For me, if I have no option, either to race with a, a mouse or keyboard, either race with a mouse or keyboard, or with a controller, I pref definitely prefer mouse and keyboard. Only the drawback is that, like, you have to, like, spam the fucking, was it, keyboard, uh, the binding, was it, the binded keys that you, was it, you, uh, you could play like, for example, space for mouse, space for accelerate, shift for like brake, you know, those kind of stuff. Oh well, I don't play computer games, so uh. I just I can't I can't wrap my head around like like computers, like you know, like how to make them work and stuff like that. Like I know it's cool, you can have a lot of freedom with it, but sometimes like I can't, I am not that tech savvy. I, I just like I just play with my my mouse or something. No, no, laptop basically. So I mean, like I stick I stick with consoles. Hey, this, I'm like I, I'm I'm just I'm sick with consoles like and don't I can't do computers. Mm. Yeah. So. And plus, consoles are a bit cheaper than computers because computers like you just spill. I mean, like you can stay with the same like computer, but you gotta update it. And, uh, yeah. and that stuff is expensive. I like, mean, I would it, love I would love to basically like try to what is it I would love to try to basically uh, how do I say it try to build a PC, but like at the same time I have to, I just only have my laptop and like you know at the same time like, it'll probably be expensive as shit if i were to build like one in my home country and i can't even bring it anywhere so wow 
Yeah. Oh, well. Because like, I'm just... currently right now I'm a university student, so more or less, yeah, it makes sense. Well, I, I, yeah, it's just with that. And then um, I just love how they made racing rigs for consoles. That does only for PC, but no, they they the companies actually make racing rigs for for uh, uh, for consoles. Like which I do like, but sometimes I was like, it's pricey. <laughs> it's very pricey. I don't think, I don't think, I, I don't think I probably was it. I don't think I'd afford that, but I probably w would try. Like I hope so. Yeah, I'm like, I, I'm like, I know, like you know, like I have money because you know what I did to my car, but it's like, uh oh. Oh what shit! Happened? It's only three, only three of us right now. Dev, you still there? <laughs> I'm like falling asleep. <laughs> oh shoot! Wait, can you still hear me? Yeah, I can hear you guys. I'm just like falling asleep and shit. I'm just listening to you guys oh. talk. <laughs> oh, I was wondering because my uh, my uh, square in the uh, voice chat just disappeared. I'm like, uh oh, did I get kicked out? <laughs> no, I can hear you guys. I, I'm just I'm I'm barely awake. Like I'm falling asleep. I'm. You guys can Why continue did you talking though. Uh, I mean, like, did you didn't sleep that well last night? I don't or... sleep very well in general, and this is oh. my body's stupid. So, oh okay. Well, yeah. Um, back to what we're saying. Um, uh, racing rigs. Yeah. Like it'll be nice, like, to get one, but mm -hmm. at the same time, I wish I wish I was that rich to get one. Same, but I'll. Uh, I mean, like. One day, but still, I probably wouldn't. Uh, I I probably can't do it right now because at the same time, like I'm still, you know, uni still university. I can't. Even, I haven't even got my own money yet. I only use it to like buy Hot Wheels and such, mm. <laughs> or just like anything that I would like to collect. Because at the same time, like, you know, I just yeah, like, I mean, like, I would, but it's like for some reason, like I think I will focus on my car than, like, you know, adding more stuff uh, to my my console. Uh. Right, yeah. right. Because, you know, like, I, ha I have a show car, so I got, like, you know, I'm not finished with it yet. Like, it looks done, but it's not. <laughs> it's not done. I still want to add more stuff to it. Are you going to get different wheels eventually, Andreas? Uh, I'm still debating on that. Like, I really want to get, I really want to get a different headlights. Like, the headlights, I really want to do that. Did you, did you get your new headlights today? No. I, I text her. She says she's busy today. I'm like, son of a bitch, man. I want those headlights. <laughs> I gotta get new headlights too. Mm, I don't know, like, I mean, I don't want to keep bothering her. Like, I, I found one on Amazon for like three hundred dollars. I'm like, should I spend three hundred dollars on that? Like, I could get it for free, but then it was like, I really don't want to keep bothering her about it. Especially, yeah. like, I don't know. Especially that like, she's, yeah, she's a uh, um. She's still a minor. Oh, yeah, a minor working where I work at, which is kind of weird. Yeah, I, I could, I could, I could, I could see that, but now, well, just yeah, and wow, and seriously, man, like it was so weird. Like I never knew she was a minor. She looked like no freaking minor. I'm not gonna lie, she did, she did not. Jesus, it's, like, no, it's just like it's a little bit weird. I thought, though. I thought like, you had to be like eighteen to work in factories. I, uh, she, I think she, she's nineteen, and I think she's still in uh, high school, but in the computer. Mm -hmm. So I was like, what? But uh, it's whatever. But yeah, it's just like I, I don't know. I did it. Just don't want to keep bothering her about it. So I'm That's just, good. I'm just gonna like spend three hundred dollars just to get the headlight that she has. So yeah, and then what else I want to do? Oh, I want to, um, I want to um, get it tuned at least. Mm. Tuned? Cause like, like, what? What? What kind of tune? Um. I mean, I think, I'm not sure, I think going to the SI route is cheaper because, you know, it's an SI tune. Mm. Or maybe go, like, like an upgraded SI tune, like a stage one tune for SI build. Mm. But at the same time, they, 
uh, I heard is is good to um to get a, a aftermarket intercooler first. Don't you already Which have is, one? Or no, oh, that, that's your cold air intake. Never mind. Um, no. <laughs> My intercooler is fucking expensive. How much? Are, how much do they it, usually cost? Uh, I don't know, but the one I looked at was six hundred dollars. That's not that bad. I just spent a thousand dollars on coilovers. I never even spend shit for my car because I just I'm leaving it stock right now. That's the thing. <laughs> I mean, I don't know why. I don't know why I'm kind of iffy with the price, but it's like I spend more than that on the car. Like I spend six uh six hundred. I mean sixteen hundred on the um on my wrap. Yeah. Mm. So. See. Yeah, uh, like, I don't know. It's just, the thing is, it's just the intercooler. No piping. Like, they sell they sell it separately. And I think the piping costs, like, $300. Did Emma leave? Yeah, apparently. Yeah. Sam left, too. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, and he barely talks. So I don't know. I don't know. He just, like, wasn't this, he just, much. like, disconnects up, apparently, for some weird reason. But all well. Yeah. I think Sam said he was kind of busy anyway. Ah, uh, yeah, more or less. Uh, how long has it been? Uh, well, yeah, how long has it been? It's only been an hour and 23 minutes. Holy crap. It's almost... It's, I mean, like, I wonder... two, it's like two minutes short of like my podcast with Kurt and like my channel. <laughs> I mean, like... I don't know. For a podcast, is kind of short. But, yeah, I want, I want to... I want to keep going. Like I don't, I don't mind. You know, no, you longer. guys can keep talking. I, I'm just trying not mm -hmm. to fall asleep. <laughs> oh, just drink, um, just drink well, like something that like you, you could be energized or something. Uh, I do have. I mean, uh, oh, I want to try refill. But um, I just want to say that my my mother's calling me, so I was like wondering if you if you want to take it away, Dublin, for for a bit, because uh, I don't know what she wants. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll be back. Just I gotta tell her what's you know what I'm doing and stuff like that. Cause, you know, she has no idea. She's a boomer. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh. So I'll be right back. All right, all right. Um. I don't think I've ever Shit. asked you, Darren. What what's like your your dream car? Like what what do you what do you want as like your your all time Ooh. favorite car? It used to it used to be a lot of things. Cause like I just wanted like to drive a lot of cars when I was a little kid because you know every, you know everyone dreams of, like get one car like oh you just want to show it off or you want to do it for speed and everything but for me I don't know because like it's quite hard which car I would love to choose but if I were to give an opportunity or to basically well get a car with that million dollar bag in like my fucking wallet hmm Ah, a Porsche, old or new, nine well nine eleven nine eleven Porsche, old or new, doesn't matter which one. I'd probably take like, I think a nine nine two, uh the modern one. If it's a modern one, nine nine two. If it's like a older one, a nine thirty or nine six four, based on the Blackbird. Oh okay. Cause I cause cause I'd really love that. Like I just really love like, for me, I, it's just like, the aesthetic looks amazing. And I love, and I, you know, like, it's just some, it's just something that's just like, I don't know, it just catches my eye. But like, I probably would like just change the wheels and like make it like, oh look, this this shit is amazing. So, I um, more like, I really like the yellow bird. Rough CTR, yeah. right? Ah, that one. I see, I see. Or for me, Porsche 930. Slap that, slap that with like a RWB body kit. Oh Ooh. yeah. RWBs are awesome. It's like it's it's fucking amazing, just to think about it. It's just it's cool. And was it? And the fact that like was it? The first time I actually got like a hobbyist RWB was like back in like was it back in 2019 where I went to a Indonesia diecast convention, um, and I saw like oh shit this looks like hell amazing and I probably would want to cop it. It's just the fact that I, what I hate about people selling the RWB. I mean like sure. 
it's a cool car and obviously the cool body kit but then like why do you gotta sell that pie what the fuck <laughs> yeah. it's so weird for me it's just like bruh it's so fucking it's just foul like seeing people like oh yeah we're gonna sell this that much and i'm like what the fuck it's so it's like what <laughs> I, I just don't get people sometimes like just you know people selling like hobbyists or like high prices aka well a lot of cars but oh well including acceleration i'd say to be honest but oh well yeah i fucking really want to call and stupid bullshit um, scalper yeah. scalper bull scalper scalper bull because like at the same time like i just don't like how some of them like oh hey we should uh we should we should sell these fucking was we should sell this fucking shit like high as hell bro i mean what profit would they really get? Um, hmm, I have no idea. Because at the same time, I don't think it probably would get them any profit, so... More or less. Yeah, it's fucking stupid. Mostly, okay, so, back to the answer, it's mostly like, a 930, a 964, or 992. I'd love to have those two. In, like, my collection. I'm more of like a European, listen, I'm more of like a European type guy like was it in terms of, like lo loving cars i mean i'm not that of a fan of muscle he used to be a fan of jdm though because like the tuning looks amazing it's just like the fandom is just absolute fucking cancer yeah i agree like it's kind of shitty how like the car modding community has been kind of like the fast and furious cars actually looked pretty good like there were some that were kind of shitty but, like, if you look at the very first Fast and Furious, like, the Integra, the Honda Civic, the Eclipse, the Supra, I mean, they're all really cool-looking cars. Um, but, like, there were some people that were modding their cars with, like, fake and cheap body kits that just looked really oh, awful. Geez. And, oh, like, Jesus, no. I know that, like, some of that is pretty cringy, but, like, I don't know. There's some tasteful stuff that people can do nowadays, and yet... It's like, if you do certain things, it's like, oh, that's cringe, oh, that's like, that's not a build, all this stupid dumb shit. And, you know, it's like, yeah, sure, I have I have what I consider that, like, looks nice or whatever. You know, I can tell the difference between something that looks like it's been worked on. But even if it's just subtle, like, if somebody just put some nice wheels on their car and didn't really do much to it maybe lowered it a little bit whatever you know like i think that's fine you know but you know obviously i have a problem if you just like slap a fake like piece of plastic on a car and go yeah bro check out my my roof scoop check out my my hood scoop you know like that that's fucking stupid you know like that's dumb um but you know people are gonna do stupid shit but like i don't hate on people who who are probably just barely starting out with modifying Marley. their car and you know they probably don't have a lot of money or whatever to be honest if i were if i were trying to mod like a car i probably mod it as if it's like 2000 you know, like you know how teku metal maniacs yeah yeah, yeah they yeah. have like sort of like 2000 type shit but then yeah. like when i see like car modding people they just they just want to look like clean and all i mean i get it because like at the same time like they want to like show off like how beautiful their car looks but to me like i mean every definition of beautiful is like subjective as shit in which i could understand but yet again uh sometimes well sometimes well <laughs> it's just uh um, it? it's just the fact that, like some some people do like was it some people just i don't know how I don't some know people how get I, fucking dumb with it yeah like Oh what? Oh this collection. Oh this fucking mod looks so cringe, bro. You gotta you gotta do better, bro. I'm like, what? Okay. <laughs> okay. Just... Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you guys go because my mom's forcing me to go pick up bread from the store because we don't have any bread. Oh bread. Oh. Yeah, we we need some bread. Shit. I might make some this of that short. Goodness. I might end this podcast anyway, uh, just because I don't I don't want it to be like. It it took forever to get the the second podcast done because it was four hours long and you know oh. so. but uh, oh. I'll make this a shorter podcast but yeah at anyway. least hey at least I'm in it yeah <laughs> I mean it's not like we're not gonna do more podcasts it's gonna be more podcasts later so I know anyways yeah, I know. but thanks for listening to the podcast everybody bye 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 <laughs> bye. <laughs>